Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to morning prayer as we begin the closeout of our work and worship week here at St. Peter's. Honored to have you with us. Uh, today is the feast of Michael and all angels, uh, often referred to as Michaelmas. And uh, I was just saying to Jacqueline, I love that uh, terminology because when I was in seminary back in the day, we had Michaelmas and Candlemas terms. So Michaelmas is the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels, which is today, uh, falls on the 29th of September. And the term that orients on that, the fall term in seminary, was called Michaelmas. Candlemas falls in February and in the same way. Um, is marked and celebrated, and that's that was the onset of the term for us in seminary, the winter spring winter, winter spring term. So the feast of Michael and all angels is an interesting one. The angels really don't exist but for God, and the Greek translation of angelos is literally sending. So imagine not so much um, a, a personality, but an, if you will, an envelope with wings. <laughs> These are the bear, these are the these are the manifestations of the bearers of the messages, the intentions of God. Over time, they gained uh, personalities, and if you read the scriptures and look for the evidence of the imprint of these angels, um, they have names, they have stories, they have personalities. Um, particularly, the archangels Michael, Raphael, Uriel, and Ariel um, are the are the four. And um, we remember them with intention. Um, just be aware that Michael is, is often depicted as sort of chief amongst. He was, if you will, God's general. This is a very medieval rendering. Um, and this is also a medieval rendering that you see there. So hello, Catherine. Hello, Corinne. Um, Michael is credited with being uh, the herald. Well, Gabriel's the herald of God. Michael's God's general. Raphael tends to be the adventurer who rolls up his sleeves and gets the job done, if you will. Um, but all of them have their own uh, their own journeys to share. I, I'm sorry, I said Ariel, not Gabriel. I should have said Gabriel instead. Um, in the book of Revelation, oftentimes it is Michael who's depicted as the one who takes on the great beast and casts it down from, from heaven to hell. This is considered when Satan, the morning star, is thrown down from heaven. Um, he is the lost archangel. In any event, um, we remember all those sendings of God that connect us. And oftentimes you'll see um, the story of Jacob with Jacob's ladder and the messengers running up and down that ladder to heaven to, to convey God's intentions to the world. They are conveyors of good news. They are conveyors of God's judgment. They are conveyors of God's intention. And we mark and celebrate all angels in our lives today. Like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. We are glad to see you and celebrate your presence as we move into morning prayer. And uh, if you have any prayer intentions, please put them in the live chat in Facebook. Or if you have um, any other concerns, um, please note them in YouTube after you've liked, subscribed, and hit the bell for notifications. All right, we are ready for morning prayer. Here we go. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for the antiphon and invitatory. God is the rock of our salvation. O come, let us worship. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. 
give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. God is the rock of our salvation. O come, let us worship. Please join me in the psalm. It's the first half of 105. I'll offer the odd. Please respond with the even. O give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known God's deeds among the peoples. Sing to God. Sing praises to God. God's wonderful works. Glorify glory in the Lord's name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and God's strength. Seek her presence continually. Remember the wonderful works God has done, the miracles and the judgments that have been uttered. O offspring of her, his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. God's judgments are in all the earth. God is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that she commanded for a thousand generations. The covenant that God made with Abraham, the Lord sworn promise to, to Isaac. Which God confirmed to Jacob as a statute to Israel as an everlasting covenant. Saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. When they were few in number of little account and strangers in it. Wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people. God allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked rulers on their account. Saying, do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. When God summoned famine against the land and broke every staff of bread. The Lord had sent a man ahead of them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. His feet were hurt with fetters. His neck was put in a collar of iron. Until what he had said come to, came to pass, the word of the Lord kept testing him. The ruler sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. To instruct his officials at his pleasure and to teach his elders wisdom. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Blow the horn in Gibeah, the trumpet in Ramah. Sound the alarm at Beth Aven. Look behind you, Benjamin. Ephraim shall become a desolation in the day of punishment. Among the tribes of Israel, I declare what is sure. The princes of Judah have become like those who remove the landmark. On them I will pour out my wrath like water. Ephraim is oppressed, crushed in judgment, because he was determined to go after vanity. Therefore, I am like maggots to Ephraim, and like rottenness to the house of Judah. When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah his wound, then Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to the great king. But he's not able to cure you or heal your wound, for I will be like a lion to Ephraim and like a young lion to the house of Judah. I myself will tear and go away. I will carry off and no one shall rescue. I will return again to my place until they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face. In their distress, they will beg my favor. Come, let us return to the Lord, for it is God who is torn and God will heal us. The Lord has struck down, and the Lord will bind us up. After two days, God will revive us. On the third day, God will raise us up, that we may live before him. Let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. God's appearing is as sure as the dawn. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah? Your love is like a morning cloud, like the dew that goes away early. Therefore, I have hewn them, hewn them by the prophets. I have killed them by the words of my mouth, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice. 
the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning, the Song of Zechariah, together. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the seven days were almost completed, the Jews from Asia, who had seen him in the temple, stirred up the whole crowd. They seized him, shouting, fellow Israelites, help. This is the man who is teaching everyone everywhere against our people, our law, and this place. More than that, he's actually brought Greeks into the temple and has defiled his holy place. For they had previously seen Trophimus, the Ephesian, with him in the city, and they supposed that Paul had brought him into the temple. Then all the city was roused and the people rushed together. They seized Paul and dragged him out of the temple, and immediately the doors were shut. While they were trying to kill him, the word came to the tribune of the cohort that all Jerusalem was in an uproar. Immediately he took soldiers and centurions and ran down to them. When they saw the tribune and the soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. Then the tribune came, arrested him, and ordered him to be bound with two chains. He inquired who he was and what he had done. Some in the crowd shouted one thing, some another, and as he could not learn the facts because of the uproar, he ordered them to be brought into the barracks. When Paul came to the steps, the violence of the mob was so great that he had to be carried by the soldiers. The crowd that followed kept shouting, away with him, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Gloria, together. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. 
govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted in a wonderful order the ministries of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant that as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may help and defend us here on earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all the assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for Kate, who had to go to the hospital last night, for Dash in recovery of health, Joe and Brenda for recovery of health. We give thanks to the ministry and witness of our confirmands. We give thanks for the ministry and witness of our volunteers at the community supper and mini mart food pantry that served everyone last night. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Mundu, the province of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan. And we pray for St. Michael's Church in the Diocesan cycle of prayer in Trenton, St. Raphael the Archangel in Brick, Church of St. Michael and Archangel in the Wall, and the Church of St. Uriel the Archangel in Seagirt. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart and especially the hearts of the people of this land that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.
Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for morning prayer this morning. We appreciate your presence. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. We will see you at five o'clock for evening prayer. And uh, may you have a blessed day. So take care. God bless. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.